guess it's time to face the cupcakes. Worried that I chickened out? No! I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right! Wait, I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm gonna beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on! Come on, Punky! Hello? Pretty girl. I can't believe. I just can't believe. We're very proud of you. I think that's what your mother is trying to say. Oh, she's not even dressed yet? Can we do that after cake? Come on, cake first! All right, but come on. Let's get this good time over with. Oh, yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. Ugh. Know where Mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now! Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do, but your mom brought out a special one she wants to use. She wants everything to be perfect on your special day. Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> Never gonna fight it. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> Don't touch the red ones. Mom made those just for me. You're going to eat all of those? I've already had six. That explains a lot. <sighs> so frustrating. Lavina? What is it, girl? Any idea where Mom's knife is? We're late! If I knew, I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullets, and had us out the door already! Oh! Can I ask you about the Maiden's Feast? Weren't you paying attention in Maiden training? How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new Grand Mog appears every 14 years, and I'd have seen six of them, so... Hey! Are you trying to get my age out of me? I'll never tell. What is Mog Chathra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of Grand Mogs to visit our land. Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. I mean, look at me! <laughs> Where do creatures like Mog Chathra come from? They come from beyond the Plague Dam. to go beyond the plague dam someday. It's forbidden! But maybe you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Mog Chathra's stomach. How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? The Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years, and then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined, breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, beats me. Mob Chathra attacks other towns? Of course! Maryloft just had their Maiden's Feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. Uh, they're a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Okay, I think I know all I need to know about the Maiden's Feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take care of the rest. 
So why don't we just fight Mog Chothra? Silence! Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast. If you destroy the feast, Mog Chothra will destroy this village, including your family. Is that what you want? No. I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. Mom, I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster instead of feeding it? That's my girl. Now that's beast and her blood talking. Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. Hmm. <laughs> Grandpa Beastender? Huh? Do you know where Mom's knife is? <laughs> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help with this shame feast. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this Maiden's Feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl! Stand up for yourself! I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brahma. <laughs> Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors. It's a travesty, Bella. Why'd we stop being warriors? Levina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed, pushed for appeasement. So we went soft, became a town of bakers. Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Oh, no. Yes. I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. Oh, no luck. For me? For you, Grandpa. Don't mind if I do. Ah, uh, why not? If there was a day to splurge, it's today. No, no. For me? Split it with you? Deal. On second thought, you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself. Now, where did I put that thing? What thing? Uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. I I had it. Man. It's my mom's special ceremonial knife. Oh, frustrating. All right, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time? Honey, why don't we just kill Mog Chothra? <laughs> here, here! <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. Majestic to behold. Awe oh, inspiring. Powerful. Mysterious. But Mog Chathra is more than that. Merciful and generous. Mog Chopra keeps our town safe. All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful flowers as he passes through. Please come, Mog Chopra, and make your selections. Welcome to the Maiden's Feast. Show him what you're made of, fella. I know he'll pick you. This can't be right. Hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chothra with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I'm making this. When the monster gets close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. Center of mass, maybe. Hey, what do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? 
Well, it's not gonna work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. You're making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mog Chathra hungry. These girls have it all backwards. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. Wanna trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. I'm warning you, buzzard! I will fuck you alive if you come near my food again! How about the satisfaction of helping out a fellow maiden? Hmm. Sounds good, but not half as satisfying as this drumstick. Never mind. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. No, no, ugliness, girls. Mog Chothra responds to beauty above all else. Sorry, the beauty... Hey, does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? It does, but they're made out of chocolate. Regardless, I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, but with joy. I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. No! I give my life! No, me! Sheesh. I hear him! Look, there he is! Drink of that water? Hmm. Trade you for that sweet corset you've got on. You never can be too thin. This horrible thing? You got a deal. Ooh, what a relief. I feel so much. Oh, I'm sorry. But this thing's just too big for me. Trade back. Oh, that poor girl. Should have been me. Okay, here we go. That's right. It's my time. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? How about the slimming corset? I don't want to hide my best asset from Mom Chandra. He'll be looking for a full-size meal after his long trip. Wanted to say good luck. Bye. Oh, it's not over. Oh, no. Can I bother? 